Hey, hey, hey! Yes, DJ Slope here from Slope's Game Room. Uh, what you're about to see is something that I actually filmed last weekend at the Manchester Play Expo. It was a brilliant, brilliant event. I'll uh, show you some pickups I bought, actually. Wait one second. Here you go, you've got Altered Beast, uh, Game Ground, PO uh, PO2, and uh, Super League Baseball. That's for an upcoming video. It's a bit of a weird one to get, but there's a reason for it. So you'll see more about that up uh, in, you know, in the coming weeks or so. But yes, what you're about to see is a Slopes Game Show. Yeah, this is something I've done a long time ago on Retro and Lim. Uh, and it's something that I brought back live. And well, I think it went really, really well. I would love to get your guys' feedback on this because this is something that I actually want to bring to the channel. Slopes Game Show Live. You know, maybe get some, some big YouTubers, some smaller YouTubers all in the same room doing this sort of stuff together. I think it'll be really good. But anyway, I'm not going to wrap it on too long. Please do uh, comment below, let me know what you think about this. And I do apologise, the audio is a little bit mm, all over the place the first five minutes or so, but it does seem to clear out. So anyway, I hope you really like it. And yeah, until next time, this is DJ Slope signing out, and hopefully I will see you all next time. What a bad way to end this. My God. Hey there, guys. <laughs> Did I let you jump? Hello, oh, hello, hello. Has that gone down now? Can everyone hear me? Yeah. Can everyone hear me at the back? Yes, yes, hello. Hello everybody, I am DJ Slope from Slope's Game Room and this is Slope's Game Show. I'm just gonna uh, wrap it on for about five minutes, hopefully make sure everyone does come in. But it does look like every seat's filled. That's pretty cool, that's pretty exciting. Um, also, I've not actually properly rehearsed a time for this, so it might be 30 minutes, it might be an hour and a half, who knows, who knows. Oh, hello. Hello. Ooh, there you go. Already blown one mic, there you go. Okay, so uh, yes, hello all, uh, welcome to, hang on. Can I put that up there? Is that alright? Yay, teamwork, there we go. Okay, <laughs> I didn't print off what I needed to say. I'm doing it off my phone. So unprofessional, so unprofessional. Okay, everybody, hello. So my name is DJ Slope. There, there it is, look at that. DJ Slope from Slope's Game Room. Uh, you can find me on YouTube, but there's quite a lot of people here, so I'm hoping you guys know who I am. Uh, there you go. So the rules of this quiz are, um, if you want to work as a team, you can. If you want to work solo, you can. It's entirely up to you. As long as you put at the bottom of the paper your team name or your personal name and your emails, that's all I need to see. Uh, what will happen later on is we're going to announce over the Tannoid thing who is the winner. Um, and if you don't hear that or, you know, whatever, we'll contact you by your email. So there you go. And, 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 and. Hopefully, this will actually be on my channel. And apparently it's been streamed live now. So... Hello world watching, hello. Uh, so before going ahead, I want to give a couple of shout outs. I can sit down here. So shout out to Console Passion, the people who are actually helping give away some of these prizes, which are all right. Um, <laughs> so it looks like that's probably the best prize. It's an arcade book, it's very nice. Uh, is anyone interested in Funko Pops anymore? Oh wow, so there's your silver. <laughs> uh, Dig Dug Toys, Ready Player One, reduced down to 199. There you go. So there's your prizes. Oh, and I'll be giving away Kick Scammers and Slopes Game Show t-shirts. And they're not available yet, so that's quite cool. Um, and my hat. Yeah, but um, there you go. There you go. And uh, oh, yeah, that means I need to give a shout out to Player One Clothing. They do have a stand over there. They are my sponsor. They're the people that do this, this, and help make the channel what it is. So thank you and shout out to them. I also need to give a shout out to... Andrew Dalton, there he is, hey. So Andrew Dalton is the only person in here that cannot participate in this quiz because uh, he helped me with the questions. So if you see him talking to anyone, yes please, there you go. Uh, there's more shout outs to give. This one goes to Retro Unlim. Retro Unlim, Retro Unlim. Is anyone out there on the Retro Unlim community? Yes, yes. If, you, if anybody out there wants to find some good quality content that, you know, isn't, uh, right up there on your trending. Go and check out Retro on Lim. They're the people that have supported me since the beginning. And uh, yeah, massive shout out to Retro on Lim. This is where I actually started the Slopes Game Show quiz thing a good few years ago online. And hopefully this is something that's going to come back as well. So there we go. Right, let's get on with the quiz, everybody. 
There are four main uh, rounds to this quiz. There are 60 possible points. You will not get all 60 because there are some incredibly cryptic questions in here. And um, that's it. And each round is going to be hosted by a different... You all good? You, everyone got a thing? Everyone's got a pen, everyone's got a bit of paper, everyone's ready to go? Yes? I need a bit of participation. Everyone ready to go? Yes. Excellent, excellent. Right. So, to start off, hosting round number one, we have this guy. I'm hoping the sound goes through. Here we go. Greetings. Clint from LGR here, and, well, let's get right to it. It's time for round one of this quiz, Slope's Wacky Controller Round. Now, the rules of the quiz are quite simple. You just name the controller that is shown on screen and the system that it was originally intended for. After this round, we're going to start with this thing right here. Yes, it's quite the odd beast. You've got a full-sized joystick over here, but then you also have a trackball on the other side here, both on this very large, rather cumbersome looking thing. So what is it? I wish you luck. LGR here from LGR on YouTube signing off. Back to you, Slope. Isn't that cool, eh? I've got him here. Woo! So yeah, there's a bit of a close-up on this controller. So the way you're going to get 20 points on this round is uh, in that question up in box number one on there. You need to write down the name of this controller if you can think of what the name of the controller is. But also, you're going to get another point if you know what system it was originally intended for. Obviously, the reason I say that is obviously Mega Drive controllers work in Ataris and Master Systems. So what is it originally intended for? So if you know what that one is intended for and what the actual um, uh, the name of the controller is, there's a possible two points. And that goes on for the rest of these as well. So I'm going to be moving on now to the second one. Does anybody know what that is or what, it was, uh, what it's called and what it was intended for? Another two points goes to you if you can get that right. Ooh. I've got to keep talking because otherwise it just goes quiet and it's a bit awkward for me up here. There you go. There's question number two. Uh, you all good? Yeah. Uh, who we got next? Angry video game nerd uh, watchers will know what that one is. And again, what's the name of the controller? What system was it int uh, uh, initially intended for? Or should I say, Nintended for? Oh, did I give too much away, maybe? Okay, to keep my on track, that is controller three. Here is controller four. So obviously I've doctored these controllers. I've taken away the logos that are on there. And in this case, I've been incredibly brutal and taken away half the buttons, because obviously you'll know what it is if those buttons were actually there. <laughs> There you go, that is number four. What system and what is the name of the controller? Be inventive if you don't know. Make me laugh when I have to tally up all of your results. Ready for controller five? When I ask you questions, you totally need to respond. Are you ready for controller five? Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that thing. Who's going to ever walk into an electronic boutique and go, oh, yeah, I want that thing there. That's awful, isn't it? What system is it for? And uh, what's the name of that? That was number five. You're still in box one at the moment. Moving over to controller six. What is that? Yes, that is a... <laughs> A controller. <laughs> See how much effort I've put into this. I was up until the early hours doing all of this for you guys. Moving on to controller seven. Oh, getting a bit more retro now. As you can see, I've obviously removed things from the picture there of my incredible Photoshop skills. The name of the controller and what system it's for. Moving on to number eight. Yes, that is a controller. 
And I really, really want that. So basically, the way this is going to work, guys, obviously no one's going to know the answers until the end. We're going to go through the answers after you've handed in your paper. So you will get to find out what all of these controllers are and what they were used for at the end. You cool? Moving on to controller nine. <laughs> I've had to remove quite a bit on that because uh, there was a lot of logos and uh, characters, I suppose, from the game. Oh, zoomed in. You can work out quite a bit on that controller. There you go. And the final one, controller 10. What system is it for? And um, what's the name of the controller? I actually did this about a week before Metal Jesus Rocks decided to do a video on it. So people that watch Metal Jesus Rocks will know what that is. <laughs> and uh, thank you to Andrew, actually. He's the one that found this one. So yeah, there you go. So yeah, there you go. That's the end of round one. Can I get a gist? Is this too hard or is it too easy? Are we, are we, good? Are we in the middle of people actually getting some of these? Is this really, really hard? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Okay, okay. So, okay, we're going to move on to round two and I have a, another popular YouTuber from the world of YouTube uh, to present round number two. Here we go. All right there, everybody. This is Jim Caddick from the YouTube channel Caddick Icarus, not Jim Icarus. And today I'm going to be kicking off round two of the Sloops Wacky Box Art Round. That is the name of this quiz here. And basically, very simple stuff. I've got to show you a Photoshop box art from my end on this camera right now. And you've got to guess what game this box art comes from. So, hey, what do you think of this? Hey. Now, I've got to be honest, when um, Slope sent me um, a couple of PS1 box arts that I had to pick through for this particular part of his quiz, um, one of them I thought was a little bit too obvious, even though the title was removed. This one, though, believe it or not, I did get it quickly, but it took me much longer to get than the other game box art that he sent me, so I figured, hmm, maybe some of you might struggle with it as well. I struggled with it, certainly. I didn't grow up with this game in particular, though, personally, so... It was a bit difficult for me um, to begin with, so whatever. But hey, yeah, here we go. I'm just rambling on now because I don't know how much time you have to guess what it is. Are we good? Is that, is that enough time? Are, are, are we not giving anyone enough time? Are we being unfair? Great, let's stop. So there you go. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. My YouTube channel is once again Categorous. It's stupid to say, stupid to spell. C-A-D-D-I-C-A-R-U-S. Thank you so much for having me on Slope and back to you. Oh, I think there's a Cad Icarus fan out there, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> He's a quality guy, isn't he? He's a quality guy. So, yeah, that is the game that he was showing. Um, and I am going to be quite brutal with this. If a game like this one... I'm standing in the way, aren't I? I'll stand over here. If a game like this one um, has more than one entry, for instance, I don't know, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic 4, don't just write Sonic. Write what it is in this case. So... There we go. There is box art number one that I have doctored up and you need to work out. Can people hear me still? Yeah? Okay. It's really quiet up here. And there's another one. Uh, everyone's writing something down now. Everyone knows what this one is. Absolutely. What's white with lots of little grey squares over it? There you go. Did you know, by the way, for people to know what this is, there is an HD remake of that game that exists. Yes, it exists. There you go. Uh, so there you go, that is number two in round two. Moving over to number three. What is it? Ooh. So you're only going to get one point per uh, correct answer on this one. You don't have to say what the system is because it says it right there. <laughs> Come on, it's on the tip of your tongue, isn't it? It's time for the next one. <laughs> Ooh, what is it? What is it? What is it? I've been brutal with this one, haven't I? Do you know what it is, Darren? <laughs> Kim wrote down instantly. Kim knows what it is. Okay, so that one, just make sure everyone's up to date. That is uh, cover number four. Moving on to cover number three. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, five. Sorry.
What is it for? Don't bother writing the system down. We all know it's a Sega Saturn, clever clogs. Moving on to number six. And this is the one that Caddy said was way too obvious for him to do. How are we doing with this? On this particular one here, give me a thumbs up if you actually reckon you know what it is. That's about, oh, it's not too bad, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Ooh, what is it? So not only have I removed the uh, logo, there's something also been removed in that whole blue area at the bottom. Oh, I reckon you'd know it. I reckon you'd know it. Here we go. Uh, so that one was uh, cover number seven. Moving over to cover number eight. Any N64 fans in the house? Yeah? Cool, cool, cool. I tell you what, this last down here at the front, the Cad Icarus fan, I reckon she's getting quite a few. I think you're doing quite well. Over to cover number nine. Uh, where is he? Before I do this, I want to make sure I'm looking at the right person. There he is. What do you reckon that is? <laughs> so we're going back a lot further. Um, I'll tell you what system is for. It's for the Amstrad. The Amstrad CPC 464. Probably a few others, probably. Huh? Yeah, yeah. How are we doing? What's, what's the gauge on that one? Are we most people getting it? Yeah, there's a lot more people getting that one. Uh, and the final one, cover number 10, which I've been a little bit brutal on again. What's that? What about the streamers connected, guys? Are you getting many of these? No. <laughs> Sorry. Have I made this too hard? Yeah, I don't know. I'm getting mixed, mixed signals, and that's sort of what I wanted. So, yeah, anyway, that's the end of round number two. How are we doing for time? Am I well ahead of time? Oh, wow, 19 minutes in, and we're halfway through. Excellent. Okay, okay, moving on to... Oh, wow, it's just black, isn't it? There you go. Uh, yeah, so that's the end of round number two. Hey, there we go, there we go. So, we'll go straight into mo uh, round number three, and we're going to mix it up a bit. It's not all about gaming. Uh, and for this, we have our third guest. Hi, everyone. I'm Oliver Harper from the YouTube channel Oliver Harper's Retrospective Reviews and the director of the upcoming documentary In Search of the Last Action Heroes. Now, I will be at the Play Expo, but I'm running a bit late. But I'm here for round three of Daniel's quiz called Slope's Wacky Movie Round. The rules are simple. We give you a clue and a movie tagline and you need to guess what the film is. Starting with this. What 1991 sequel had two sets of twins and the following tagline? Same make, same model, new mission. So there you go. For the people that didn't hear, uh, so the idea of this round is I'm going to show you this up on the screen. This is a tagline from a famous movie. If you guys can work out what the movie is, that's all you need to do. You need to write down the name of the movie. And the clue to go along with this tagline is... You know that one, yeah? Yeah. What 1991 sequel featuring two sets of twins had the following tagline? Same make, same model, new mission. What are we getting? Gaging. What's gauging the audience? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. You'll kick yourself. <laughs> So that's number one, you get one point for that. A lot less people got that one than I expected. <laughs> number two. In 2007, this buddy cop comedy scoffed its way through stolen packs of biscuits with the tagline, Big Cops, Small Town, Moderate Violence. You know that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. We're going to move on. Are we happy? Do you want the question again? No, you cool? You cool? It's just, I just see a sea of confused faces. <laughs> Moving over to movie quiz number three. 
What is this? What is this 1986 movie that featured a fake sausage king with the tagline, "One man struggle to take it easy"? <laughs> I, I promise you, these are not uh, uh, obscure movies. These are huge movies, for the most part. That was number three. I'm seeing some people write stuff down, which is good. I'm getting about half reaction again. Over to movie quiz number four. What 1983 movie, named after the main female actress, had the following tagline, Nobody does it better 13 times. Ooh, that's a bit, ooh, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep, we're back up. So that was number four, just to keep up to date of everybody. Moving over to number five. Oh, that's hard to read, isn't it? I'll have to read it out for you. Uh, in 1989, the WWE wrestler Terry Funk butted heads with a cooler in this movie with the following tagline, The dancing's over, now it gets dirty. I promise you, none of these are X-rated movies. These are all <laughs> very popular movies. Again, let me get a gauge. How many people are getting these movie ones? You knew that one? Okay, that's cool. Are we, are we good? Thumbs up for people that are getting these? Half and half? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Over to movie quiz number six. Hey, kick scammers. Uh, so, in 2002, a pilot, a lawyer, and a doctor featured in this movie with the following tagline, The true story of a real fake. Streamers connected, guys, are you getting any of these? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, me and Andrew are getting them. Yeah, yeah, we're getting them. <laughs> So, uh, to catch people up, that is number six. Number seven. If, if, if anyone doesn't get this, just remove yourself. Number seven. What 1993 movie featured the fictional company International Genetics Incorporated had the following tagline, an adventure 65 million years in the making. I just, you can hear the theme tune as I say it, can't you? Yeah. Oh, they messed up the, the new ones, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, to make it easier for earlier, well, that, the answer to this came up earlier, yeah? Okay. So, uh, to catch people up, that is number seven. Moving over to number eight. See how I confuse you by putting text of another sort of film on there, yeah? Which Nazi-filled 1989 movie that featured a father and a son riding off into the sunset had the following tagline, The man with the hat is back and this time he's bringing his dad. A lot more people got that one, didn't they? A lot more people got that one. There's two more, two more for this, uh, for this uh, round three. There we go, moving over to number nine, one of my favorites in here. In 1991, this motorcycle riding ninja rapper stole a girl's heart with the tagline, when a girl has a heart of stone, there's only one way to melt it. Just add ice. Baby. I want to ask, Cadicurus fan, how many of these movie ones are you getting? Huh? I, see, I think I've done this quite well. Well, and Andrew. And Andrew has done it quite well. Yes. <laughs> You're not looking these up on your phone, are you? No, no, no. no. <laughs> 
And uh, moving over to movie quiz number 10, the final one of this round, which is my absolute favourite. Again, this is not an X-rated movie, but I'm going to say, the, say it before I move it over. The man who wouldn't drive Miss Daisy voiced the lead character in this 2010 box office bomb with the following tagline, Great things come in bears. Yes. It's not X-rated or illegal. It's a real movie. It was the bomb. It was awful. And, uh, yeah. That was somehow the tagline. I'll read it again, the uh, question for that one. The man who wouldn't drive Miss Daisy voiced the lead character in this 2010 box office bomb with the following tagline, Great things come in bears. I hope that's the last time I ever say that. And don't worry, like I say, at the end of the quiz, once you've handed in your papers and we have like a little fun round, we will go through these answers, okay? How many people actually got that one? Did you genuinely get that one? Amazing, amazing. And then you're, hey, well done. <laughs> I'm happy there's two because, yeah, it's, it, it's definitely the most cryptic one on here. So yeah, that is the end of round three. There is one more round for you guys to write down and we have a fun round after that and then we'll go through the answers. Um, so, uh, yes, uh, we'll move straight on to the next one and then I'll have a little bit of explaining to do. And uh, would you be able to bump up the volume a little bit on this one here? Yeah, here we go. Hi everyone, Kelsey Lewin here and it's time for round four of Slope's Game Show. It's the Wacky Music Round. The rules are simple. DJ Slope has mixed together 20 different video game songs and samples and sounds from all different eras into one long mashup. You would just need to guess as many of them as possible. And that's pretty much everything you'll ever need to know about round four, the wacky music round. Good luck. Take it away, Slope. Okay, so before I go into this, I need to uh, explain a little about what you're about to see. There's a little bit of nightmare fuel in this. Is there? A oh, yeah, no, sorry, yes. Firstly, go on the back of your bit of paper for round four because you are going to need to write down a lot on this. So before I um, did YouTube... Um, I was a DJ, hence DJ Slope. I still do a bit of DJing. And the story behind it was I was DJing at Download Festival one year. There was a good few thousand people in there chanting, going crazy. Not to brag, but I definitely brought in the best crowd. Um, and I said, come and find me on Twitter. My name is DJ Slope. And when I got home, three people added me out of the thousands. So I realized what I need to do is get into video DJing. And so I'd put up on the big screen my big name and logo, and I'd make, I'd make, um, uh, yeah, I'd have my name on the big screen so everyone would know who I am. So I ended up getting into creating music videos, very weird and twisted music videos, along with remixes as well. So what you're about to see is me going back to my old days a little bit. You're about to see a two and a half minute music mashup. Uh, so listen, but also watch, because there will be clues as to what is hidden in this mashup. In this one, literally write down, there's a possible 20 points, write down the game that you hear and or see. Um, and yeah, we might play this twice, depending on how, what, what, what the uh, audience response is going to be like. Why has it gone back? Oh, here we go. So, can we get a bit of volume on this, because this is going to be a bit pumping. Uh, I'm very proud of this. So here we go, here we go. And uh, apologies for not... Oh, and um, uh, it's a lot of flashing lights, so if you suffer from that sort of epilepsy or something, then maybe don't watch. But here we go. <laughs> Mission 1, start. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. One to tall in the mind, if you want to test me, I'm sure you'll find the things I'll teach you, a sure of beat you. Nevertheless, you'll get a lesson from teacher, now kick. like cleanup on aisle four.
if you continue, you run the risk of transmitting deadly viral diseases to your household electronic appliances. Jeez, some people. Come on, I need a round of applause for that, please. So, <laughs> how did you guys gauge that? Out of the 20, where, whereabouts are we at? Are we, we're about 10, roughly? Are we, uh, people above 10? 14? A lot less, less than 10? Yeah? Well, uh, so that is the final round before I, we, uh, I get someone to hand in all the bits of paper. But did you want to listen to it one more time? Yeah, you want to do that? Okay, okay. So we're going to listen to it one more time and we'll hand it in. So, I mean, I'm happy to play this all day long. <laughs> okay, here we go. Last time listening to this. Oh, no. Hi, everyone. Kelsey. Mission one, start. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. It's all in the mind If you wanna test me I'm sure you'll find The things I'll teach ya Be sure I'll beat ya And nevertheless You'll get a lesson from teach And I'll kick Punch Kick Oh, do you get Punch Not like the burger Yeah Cool Are you ready? like cleanup on aisle four. run the risk of transmitting deadly viral diseases to your household electronic appliances. Jeez, some people. Hey, there we go. So yeah, that is the end of the quiz. Uh, did anyone get any few more on that second round, yeah? Awesome, awesome. So, thank you very much, stream, uh, Streamers Connected. What they're going to do, they're going to collect it up, but that isn't the end of it. What we're going to do, we're going to do a fun little round now that isn't part of the, um, you know, the gold, silver, bronze prizes that we'll be giving out later on. This is um, just something, if you guys can shout out what you, um, you know, you'll, you'll basically get a t-shirt. I'm going to throw a t-shirt to you straight away. So, uh, yeah, okay. So what you're about to see is me ripping off the game show catchphrase. Do I remember catchphrase? Yeah? Excellent. Oh, wow. I've ruined the stage. Whoops. Oh, God. I'm making it worse. Um, so, uh, yeah, what you're going to see is you're going to see a five-second clip of a video game, but obviously I've covered it with catchphrase boxes. And they're going to slowly go down. And if the, the first person to shout out the correct answer, I'm going to throw them a Kick Scammers or a Slopes Game Show t-shirt. Uh, so you need to be very, very loud um, for me to be able to hear you, obviously, from this side. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Not X-rated. Come on, PC gamers.
Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> Let's see if you are right. Yay! Give it up for Scott. What do you want? Kick Scammers or Slopes Game Show? Kick Scammers. There you go. Woo! <laughs> So there you go, that's number one. There's five of these, there's five of these, and then we'll go through the answers. Uh, so moving on to number two. Ooh, what is it? It's not Zelda. Let's see if you're right. It's Golden Axe Warrior. Uh, oh, what one? You don't mind, but you don't care. You don't want. <laughs> awesome. There you go. Cheers, mate. Thank, Thank you. you. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, moving over to number three. I forgot to add the transitions. Never mind. Come on, guys. Give it to someone else, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'll just, just give it to you, and you can give it to someone else, yeah. I think that's the best bit. There you go. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, I felt a bit like a rock star when you did that. That was awesome. Woo! This ain't fitting on my head anymore. Okay. Uh, moving over to uh, what's this? Number four. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. Number four. Ooh. Whoa, who said that? Yeah, oh, wait, oh, hang on, wait a minute. Let's see if you're right. <laughs> what one? Yeah, uh, it's, it's game show, but it's cool. That was awful. <laughs> and then the final one before we go through the answers. And uh, yeah, it'll be good if you guys shout out if you know the answers as well. We'll see. Uh, number five. I can't remember what it is myself. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, no. Uh, let's see if you're right. There you go. Hey, kick scammers or game show? You don't care. Uh, I'm going to give you a game show. Hey, there you go. So, yeah, there you go, guys. That is essentially the quiz. Did you all have fun? What do prizes make? No, no, what do pounds make? Rich people. Right, okay. Um, okay, so we'll go through the answers now, and then please just, uh, uh, how long are we doing for time? Actually, we've done quite well, so we've got 20 minutes, that'll be easy enough to go through them. Uh, so, let's have a look. Who knew, who knew what that was? So, it's for the PC, and it was called the, uh, oh, my, my script's turned off, I'll tell you what it was called, I don't even know myself. It was the, the Mad Cats Panther XL. There you go. Ooh, thank you, Clint, for that one. Oh, Lazy Game Reviews, go and subscribe. Did anyone get that? Yeah? Anyone get that? The roller controller for what system? CDI. The CDI, yes. Moving over to the next one. Who got that? The Roland Rocker. For what system? NES. Anyone get that? <laughs> It's for the N64, it's the Boomerang 64. I was brutal with that, I took all the way the things on the right, didn't I? Um, right, yeah, uh, next one, anyone get that? Did anyone at least get that it was for the PlayStation uh, 1? 
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so that is the Alps Interactive. Who got that? So does anyone remember the Connect? You know the Connect that was big for five minutes on the Xbox 360. There was that Connect Adventures where you have to sit in a boat. It is literally a rubber dinghy that you do this in front of your telly. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that is actually called the Game Boat for the Xbox 360. Uh, moving over to the next one. Who got that? No, uh, got. God, oh, give it up for Laird's Laird. That is exactly what it is. Yes, it is the Super Action Controller for the ColecoVision. Yes, uh, controller number eight. Who got this? I was well happy when I found this. So this, uh, I'll tell you what it's called. It's, it's so obscure. It's called the Terminator, and it's for the Atari 2600. So what you would actually do is you would hold it like a grenade, and every time you do that, that's the button. That's how you play it. How awful is that? How awful is that? I, I didn't think anyone would get that one, to be fair. Um, yeah, there you go. Who got that? It is Seaman for the PlayStation. Yeah, it's Seaman for the PlayStation 2. I'm not happy with you guys, because I made a massive video about Seaman, and I featured that controller all the way through it. See me after school. Uh, it's called the C-Mic, uh, to be precise. But if anyone wrote down Seaman, I'll give it to them, because that's obscure. Um, yeah, that's a bad controller. And that's one of a few, actually. There's a few different ones that they made for Seaman. Uh, it's the Japanese PlayStation 2 version. So that's a PlayStation 2 controller. And then, anyone get that? Uh, I'll, I'll check, but I've got it as the Novint controller. The Novint controller. That's what it says on the box. So anyway, yes, yeah, the Novin controller is for the PC. So there, there you go. Over to the second round that we had. Who, who got that? It is Wipeout, but it's Wipeout free. Let's see if you're right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so you can see what I took away from it now. There you go. It's the Japanese PlayStation box art for Wipeout free. Who got that? Oh, let's see if you're right. There it is. Transbox. Who got that? I'm hearing a lot of Batman and Robin. I'm hearing a lot of Batman and Robin. Let's see if you're right. Did you not hear it when I said it's time for the next one? Ah, see what I did there? No one caught on. Right. <laughs> Who got that? Batman. I thought you'd get that, Darren. I'm disappointed. To be fair, that's pretty brutal, isn't it? It's a black box. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's the next one. Who got that? Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Well, maybe. Let's see if you're right. Back when, it were, when they didn't realise the sex appeal that Lara Croft had and she had triangle boobies. Who got that? You're a fan of Cat Icarus, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else get this? Yeah, LSD. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's, um, it's a nothing game, really. You just walk around an endless maze and weird things happen to you every day. You're supposed to be in a weird dream. It's very lucid something dreaming. Do you know what it's called? It's called something like that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So anyway, LSD, a Japanese exclusive, and it goes for a few hundred pounds now since the big YouTubers have talked about it. What's that? Maniac Mansion. Ooh, there we go. See, I don't think I took away too much. There it is. Maniac Mansion. And who got that? Buck Bumble, maybe? I'm pretty proud of this, I've got to say. <laughs> Not to blow my own trumpet. What do you reckon this one is, Nova Bug? Let's see if you're right. This was the very first ever video I ever did. The, his, the, 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 the story of Roland. Uh, for people that don't know a... Oh, it's gone now. Um, for people that don't know, a character that was basically pushed forward and uh, there's about seven games in the series, six or seven games in the series, and every single one he looks completely different. One, he's a flea. One, he's a, a, an adventurer. One, he's a pirate. Nothing besides the name makes sense. It's one of the obscure UK ones, that one. Uh, and then moving over to the next one. What's that, everyone? It's Jurassic Park. Of course it is. 
Oh, oh, let's see if you're right. There you go. <laughs> Jurassic Park. Does anyone like those new Jurassic Park movies? They're awful, aren't they? They, they, they made the T-Rex a friendly dinosaur. Like, what? Well, not friendly, but they used him. Hate it. Angry. Who knew what this was? Seriously? It's Terminator 2, people. It's Terminator 2. Essentially the greatest sequel ever made. Shout out if you know it. Hot Fuzz. I'm hearing Hot Fuzz. It was indeed Hot Fuzz. First Bueller's Day Off goes out there. Uh, go and subscribe to one of Retro Tip. You got that one. Very good. Very good. Anyone? James Bond's Octopussy. Yes. <laughs> we had to rewrite that question a few times, didn't we? <laughs> Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Come on. There's a Patrick Swayze. The mum should get that one, definitely. Ain't it a tragedy? What a legend. Right, here we go. Next one. So you got dirty. I wrote it in the dirty dancing font to help you. Yeah? Catch me if you can. Yes, absolutely. Over to the next one. Yes, yes. No one gets detention. That was obviously Jurassic Park, wasn't it? Yep, yeah, indeed. I'll make sure I'm saying the right one. It was in def definitely Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. Now, did everyone knew who I was talking about. Did anyone get the name of the movie? Cool as Ice, the Ice Ice Baby, Vanilla Ice uh, bloke. See, I talked said about the ninja rapper from the Turtles, yeah? See all of these clues I'm giving you now? I told you would kick yourself. And who got that? Disney wouldn't put that on there. It's Yogi Bear. That was Yogi Bear. That was genuinely the tagline for a kid's movie, Great Things Come in Bears. Because that was one where they had Boo Boo in it as well as Yogi Bear. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Um, oh, it's my favourite part of the round. We get, do you want to listen to the song again and then I say it or do you want me just to say it? Just say it? Okay. Right, so. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> so, in order uh, of them appearing in that song, you had... Metal Slug. Shout if you got it. Like, give me a way if you got it. Yeah. Half Life Two. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Uh, Streets of Rage. Parappa the Rapper. Yeah. Earthworm Jim. That was hidden a little bit in the background. That one a little bit, but it was there. It was there. Oh. Right. My phone's decided to move on its side. Here we go. Uh, Earthworm Jim. Street Fighter Two. Yeah. Uh, Global Gladiators. Yeah, there was the whole uh, McDonald's thing on there. Uh, Donkey Kong Country. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Um, uh, Portal. Duke Nukem 3D. Goldeneye. Yeah, everyone got Goldeneye. Uh, Goldeneye. Uh, Alex Kidd, The Lost Stars. Oh, yeah, that was a little bit more obscure. Uh, Zool 2. <laughs> Sonic 2. Yeah, again, okay. Aladdin. That was mixed at the same time as Sonic 2. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to continue looking like an idiot. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Yeah, from this. Uh, Final Fantasy 7. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seaman at the end. Like, if you continued. Yeah, no, that's Seaman. And then Super Mario World. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple at the end. There was a bit over the seaman talking at the end. There you go. And uh, we have officially en ended at 12.52. That ain't bad, is it? That's pretty good. So, yes. There you go. Oh, there you go. Thank you very much for watching Slopes Game Show. I'm DJ Slope from Slopes Game Room. Please go and subscribe to me and do all of that lovely stuff. Go and search Slopes Game Room and all of the big so uh, 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 searches out there. Google, YouTube. Patreon, any you, you choose, and it will really, really continue helping the show. And hopefully, this is something that's going to continue onto my channel. So, I think it's been a success. Thank you all.